Hey brother, Ben, I was tweeting with brother Tyler today and he was saying how he thought me and him looked the same, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> Ben, you know it's complete BS? Serving sizes. I'm not even someone who counts calories and stuff, but reading nutrition labels often makes me upset. And it's not because I'm realizing all of a sudden how much fat or something I put into my body. Five cookies is how much? I guess I'll just go kill myself. My problem is that it doesn't seem like it's anyone in the health department writing the nutrition codes. It seems like it's the people in the marketing department. Case in point, Ben, Crystal. Light. Because right out of the gate, Crystal Light is not that bad for you. They are encouraging you to drink more water by making it taste good. Yay! Oh, I gotta go pee. Crystal Light. Crystal Light is five calories per serving. But let me ask you, Ben, how many servings do you think are in this one packet of Crystal Light? Hmm? Would you guess eight? Because you'd be correct. <laughs> What? That means there are 40 calories in here. Oh, oh, and look, there are instructions on the packet to use the entire packet! Now I know what you're thinking. Jay, that's not fair. This is a two-quart packet, meant to be used in an entire pitcher and not consumed in a single serving. The whole five calorie per serving marketing campaign is for their single packets, and that's the main driver of their entire product. Well, that only took me 15 takes, but fair enough. But here's the thing. Guess how many servings are in the single packets? Two! Why not just say 10 calories per serving or just make five calorie packets? Why does the single pack come with two servings in it? Unless, no, no. You're not suggesting I'm supposed to use half of this and then save the other half for later, are you? Maybe you are, and I'm not saying people don't do that, but what I am saying is if you're the kind of person who is saving half-used Crystal Light packs, that's a whole different kind of crazy, and that's a whole different video. Look, Crystal Light, I know all the information is right there on the side of the box for anyone to read, but at the end of the day, the fact is you are purposefully deceiving people into thinking they are drinking half the calories that they are, and they are probably loving it because they're using double the amount recommended and it makes the water taste great. And in my book, that is not okay. The calorie thing, not the good tasting water. I'm all for that. Ugh, I just hate serving sizes though, Ben, because you can make anything sound healthy if you just change the amount of it you're supposed to eat. Beth went to Dairy Queen the other day and got the mini blizzard, Ben. The mini, the smallest one you can get. And you know how many servings were in there? Two! What? Two? Didn't they just introduce the mini blizzard? Shouldn't it be like a half serving or something in there? Shouldn't the serving size just be the size you are served? I've also pulled some random things from the pantry for their suggested serving sizes. Up first, Oreos. Two cookies. <laughs> Is that a joke, Oreo? Two cookies? Ben, can you imagine if you got to lunch and mom had packed you two Oreos? Actually, that was my whole system in high school. I didn't worry about serving sizes. I just figured if mom packed it for me, it was appropriate. Can of beans? Three servings. What? I'm sorry. I can and do eat entire cans of these all the time. Cream of celery, which I have to wonder why we even have in our pantry, Ben, but two and a half servings in this tiny can. Is that like, really? Really? Are some people like saving it? Are some people getting almost three probably really poor tasting meals out of this tiny can? Bagels? One bagel. Thank you. God, I knew the bagels wouldn't let me down. Bread? Two slices. That makes sense. The bread industry is at least honest. Candy? Okay, wow. One pack and uh, one bar. Okay, so it might not be good for you, but at least it's honest. Now to be fair, I don't know really how to fix this. Um, maybe you could have like a like a set calorie limit that just equals a serving size of anything regardless of what it is, or maybe a certain number of ounces, but just something so it's like standardized across the board seems like it should be in place. Ben, my question for you and everyone else is just go to your pantry and tell me down in the towel section what is the most unrealistic serving size you can find because I think a lot of them are just stupid. That's all for me, but I will see you in another life, brother. End screen! Ben, well done on finally completing your punishment, doing a video spreading marshmallow fluff, peanut butter, and Nutella. If anyone missed it, you can totally go see that video over there. Unless I pointed the wrong way. But you know what I mean, and it's definitely worth watching. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I didn't think it was going to be that funny, but it was. You guys had very good comments, and I like it.